In a world where the truth is so seldom heard, and almost never believed. In a world that doubles up on its lies to keep the interest of the people who are both hungry and mad, curious and damned. In such a world as this, there is an obligation to speak the truth and nothing but the truth. And so I do. My experience in politics, the law, and international relations has demonstrated time after time that the most troublesome people in the world, the most troublesome people in the world, are those who elbow their way through life without permission, those who talk low in their throats and do no work, those who are sensitive and intellectual and never stop talking, in short, the people who run things. My experience in politics, the law, and international relations has also taught me that the wives of these people would be much better off running things. They should be running the businesses, the corporations, the institutions, the religions. But what would happen? What would happen to men in such a world? Aha! The answer is before us. What are the men doing now? They are campaigning. At present, men spend three out of every four years campaigning. It would be a small step for them to go full time. And they would be so much happier if they did. For campaigning allows men to feel important. They have their strategies and struggles their tactics and techniques, the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. What could make men happier? Campaigning also allows men to do what they do best. Say the same thing over and over and with each repetition to shave off a little meaning until they are able to speak several English sentences without saying a thing. There are also advantages to the campaign industry. Look at the billions upon billions of dollars that this industry collects and then disperses. Few other industries in America are as vibrant and healthy as the campaign industry, and it costs the taxpayers nothing. In addition, note the many billionaires who step forward to give over great sums of wealth to support this industry. It delights them. It gives their life meaning. And it costs the taxpayers nothing. There are also innumerable feeder fields to the campaign industry. Take punditry, for example. As long as there's the campaign industry, there is the need for thousands of experts to sample and analyze, predict, and interpret. And it costs the taxpayer. The inevitable conclusion is that tax dollars and corporate income in such a world as this could then be spent on better things. On things that matter. And the things that matter are entirely clear when women run things. It is not a hard question for women. For example, instead of buying 2,400 F-35 fighter jets designed to meet an enemy that doesn't exist, we could simply buy seven less and give an iPad to every first grader in the country. Thank you. And know that this message, although approved by me, will not be repeated. Who are you, America? That's the question Center Stage asked when we commissioned these 50 monologues. Want to learn more? Keep watching.